What's up guys, Bull by the Fell Handed here bringing you the Art of the Hellcat Part 8. We are on Westfield, the Greens have spawned on the southwest side, the Reds have spawned on the northeast side. Now, we are one tier down, that's not really a problem. You see me immediately switch to APCR, I have something for that one tier difference, believe you me. Now, we are going right flank. The idea behind this here is I can shoot at guys at the bridge, and if they creep over too much, um, you know, say like E6, that area, I can put rounds on them as well. So that's kind of the game plan. That's the tactic. We have a very different force here. We've got Artie's two TDs, a light and a medium here, so we have a variety of guys to see if we can't bring this game together and you know hopefully we can get everyone to work in concert and we can see if we can't pull something out of this game now you know you always have to have a camo net on this tank if you look at VB Attic it says rammer camo and binox no idea why I don't really have binox on it at this time at any rate it's neither here nor there now you know you really you have to put post up here as deep as you can in the bush and then you know get outside the enemy's range and just you know put rounds on target that's all this tank boils down to is putting rounds on target and you know really I mean that's what the game boils down to but it helps to know the role of the tank in order to make it do what it's supposed to do if you try to brawl with a thin skin tank like this you will lose. If you try to scout with a thin skin tank like this, you know, you will lose. If, you know, you try to circle jerk somebody with a tank like this, you will lose. So you need to understand what the tank does, the capabilities of the tank, and then you can start to understand how to utilize it properly. You know, if you go in, if you're in a Cromwell and you go in for a circle jerk on a Hellcat, you can be pretty confident you will be the victor in that situation because the traverse on the whole is very low on the Hellcat as well as the turret traverse is extremely low. So, you know, by playing these tanks, you learn their weaknesses. And learning their weaknesses, you can learn how to fight them better. Now, granted, of course, in learning weaknesses, you can also learn how to play them better so it's a two-way street you learn how to play them better you learn how to defeat them better and that's what I want to help you guys with you know also this may help you decide you know if you want to particularly go down this tree or this line I don't have the termination of this tree I wasn't really shooting for it I specifically wanted this tank I heard it was awesome I said, let's get it, let's do a bunch of videos on it, and let's see if people like it. Let's just get the information out there, let's show it around, and let's see if anybody, you know, likes the way things go. And, you know, that's exactly what we're doing. And, you know, you just, you have to use this tank as it was intended. If you use it for anything else, you're just, you're going to feel horrible. <laughs> because things are not going to work out in your favor and that goes for any tank really we somehow pulled an incredible shot through the gap there as he was moving just caught him on the rear end fantastic shot never happened again in a hundred years so right now you know we have a little bit of a, a small presence near their cap a few guys at most and most of their forces have already pushed through the town. We do have some of our team um, taking the high ground there. But the map, really, if you look at it, a number of guys are just spread out all over the map. We need to try to go ahead and start isolating these targets. If we look at the map and we see targets are isolated, we immediately want to take them out. And... You know, if you're running any kind of, you know, combined arms platoon, kind of like we're doing right now, or, you know, different class tanks, whatever, even if you're doing a wolf pack, 
you want to just, you know, if anyone's isolated, you just want to focus on them, get them off the board, because, you know, you have numbers, you have rate of fire depending on the situation, so in that particular case, if they're out there and they're by themselves or they don't have help within a few hundred meters, you need to go out there full force and just burn them right off the map. And this is a, a common wolf pack tactic and you need to use it in, you know, and it's even fine in this case because it's it's just good tanking. It's getting the the tanks that have no support off the map. Which is exactly what the Reds do. If you've ever looked, they get the tanks with no support off the map. It's good tanking. Now, you know, the game is over. We we did okay. We didn't do fantastic. I just kind of wanted to post this video to show you what happens when you have a variety of tanks. 1303, it's okay. It's not fantastic. But you know what? We'll take it. Guys, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.